Welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon, and I'm going to be your instructor for today. So what we're going to look at today is I'm going to have, show you how to map out either bullet holes or blood stain patterns. Now, most departments don't have somebody who is certified in bullet reconstruction or blood stain pattern analysis, but you want to make sure that if you have a scene like that, that you're going to be able to document properly, so that way uh, you'd be able to send that to the lab and have somebody look at it. So it's very simple, and you only need a few products to, to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to show you what they are. It's not very difficult at all. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, or we need, is you're going to need two tapes. One is horizontal and one is vertical, so the numbers are going to run uh, from the top to the bottom and then from left to right. So what I have here on, on my, uh, my board is I have a couple bullet holes spread out. Now what we're going to pretend is that this board is actually an entire wall. So if you had a, a full wall that you needed to document, if you're trying to go along and take photographs of this big wall, it's going to get very confusing. All the, the patterns of uh, blood or the bullet holes, they're all going to look the same and you're going to have an absolute mess trying to figure this out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to map it out. We're going to split this up into sections. So we'll pretend that this is a full wall and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go from top to bottom using our tape. Now normally what I would do is I would use a, uh, a level to make sure that this is going to be right on. So you can see the numbers here. They're going from top to bottom. So I'm going to put this right down the middle of my wall. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we have this going right down the middle, we would make sure that that's level, that that's perfect across. Now we're going to go ahead and put the left to right numbers on. Now the important part of this is if you look, there's some squares. The squares are going to match up. Now normally you wouldn't put it over the bullet hole, of course, but we're going to match up that square. There we have it. So now we have four sections that we're going to work on. Now to further uh, break this apart, now again, we're imagining this is a big wall. So this here may be a, uh, an eight foot section. This may be an eight foot section. This may be an eight foot section. So we're going to break that up. So we see that we have some bullet holes that we want to go ahead and, and document. So the first thing we have to do, and I'm going to use a, uh, a pink paper just because it uh, it contrasts this pretty well. And I'm going to write on that. Very easy. That's section A. A beautiful handwriting. This is B. And so on. And I won't bore you by putting all of them on here, but you get the idea. So now we have A, B, C, and we would have D. Now what we're going to do with this is now when we're documenting it and we're going to take our photographs, we would be able to start with section A. And then we would be able to go to section B, section C, and so forth. So what we need to do is we're still going to use our sticky notes. These are a great crime scene tool. They should be in your kit. And I want to document this one right here this one up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put very simply A1. I'm going to do this one down here. Now there's two here that could probably fit in A2. And then we're going to do the same for section B. We're going to do B1, B2. There's actually three bullets here. I'm not a great shot, but apparently um, I tried to spread these out and I got them all in the same. But these are uh, three different bullet holes, so we, we could probably all include those in, in just B1. But we're going to focus over here on what to do next. So we have it mapped out. We have the bullet holes that we want. So we're going to do a couple things. 
Now, before we take our photographs on this, we want to be able to, you need to put a scale around either the bullet holes or your blood pattern. So now this is a, a giant one, and you would be able to tape that up here, something like that, using your metric. Or you could also, um, I have these great little product here. Uh, these things are fantastic. They are a, um, they have the evidence marker right on them. And it, you can put the location, the date, and all the case number, everything on it. And it actually has the metric at 90 degree angle already built in. And then what you can do is you can peel it off. It's sticky. And then we could put that. Just like so. And now you have a great, great photograph to take. You have the scale on it. You could go ahead and put your, uh, your marker. So you could either put it like such and have that as B2, or you could write right on here and have this be B2, so then you know. Uh, but these are great, very, very, and they're, they're cheap too. They're, they're not expensive and they're very uh, effective. So now that we have our sections, we're going to go ahead and map out um, all of our all of our items here. So now we have it. Now we're going to take photographs of each one. And why it's important to go ahead and, and map these out like this, because if this was a big wall, you may have A1 through 18. But when you're taking your photograph, you're going to be able to focus in you would have a nice scale here. And now you, when you're doing your photo log, it's very clear. This is A1. This is A2, A3. And you go through, your overall photograph is going to have all of these sticky notes with all of these numbers on it. So now you would be able to get a real accurate portrayal of where those bullet holes or that bloodstain pattern, uh, it, it, which way it went. By using your uh, horizontal and vertical tape, now you can do the same where uh, if this was blood spatter, there may be tiny little, tiny little bits that you want to look at, and they would be able to uh, pinpoint the location of those. Uh, one other small piece of uh, equipment I think is very useful is just similar to your, um, your sticky notes, just the little arrows. And this is, would be very perfect for, or perfect for if it were blood pattern. So if you had just a tiny piece like that, you can barely see that, but I want to show that in my photograph. I'm taking a picture, and again, this is a, a full-size wall, and there's this little tiny blood stain. When I'm taking my overall photograph, you want to be able to show that, and we'll put that as B1. Now you take your overall photograph, you can see that that's B1, and you say, oh yes, that's where the pattern is. Then we go through all the same steps. We put our scale around it, and we take our photographs. Um, and remember, 90 degrees using a, um, you want to make sure you're using your tripod when you're taking your photographs. And then the last piece, uh, which also you could use, uh, and I've used these in fingerprinting, you've seen these, is they're just tiny little stickers that have a metric on them. Uh, I use these for fingerprinting most of the time, um, but you could also go ahead and put those near your, uh, your evidence. The only thing I don't like about these is trying to make sure that I line it up with the, the line right on there to try to make sure they're 90 degrees, but that might be your only issue is if it's not exactly 90 degrees, but you could go ahead and, and use those as well. Okay, so that, that's it that I have. Um, if, again, we're trying to pretend that this is a huge wall. It just really helps you map this out. You can actually use this for uh, not only on walls, but if you had blood patterns on the floor that you wanted to map out, whether it be foot, foot impressions or just uh, blood spatter that you wanted to go, you could go ahead and map this out. And that overall photograph with all these on there is really going to uh, help whoever's looking at these and analyzing this, they're going to they're gonna thank you for it. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. 
You can check out all my videos at ForensicEducation.net, and you can buy all this stuff at LynnPV.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.